If you suffer from seasonal allergies, you may be able to minimize some of the symptoms by eliminating certain foods and beverages. According to the American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, your body interprets chemicals in these foods the way it would allergens, like pollen. So if you'd like to cut back on your symptoms like itching and tingling in the mouth, sneezing and runny nose or watery eyes, avoid these foods. If you're allergic to ragweed, avoid bananas, cantaloupes, chamomile tea, echinacea, honeydews, watermelons, and zucchinis. If you're allergic to tree pollen, avoid almonds, apples, carrots, cherries, hazelnuts, peaches, pears, and plums. If you're allergic to grass, avoid melons, oranges, and tomatoes. If you have seasonal allergies of any kind, avoid beer, liquor, and wine. All contain histamine, a compound that triggers allergy symptoms like itching and swelling. Ed Newsel, registered nurse practitioner at Allergy, Sinus, and Asthma Family Health Center, explains how they first test for airborne allergies and how they treat them. Well, there's various allergy testing that we do in this practice. Of course, the, the most sensitive testing that we do is called a skin prick test. Now, this is a test that we do for those people that actually qualify for it because there are certain medications that if you take it would kind of um, preclude us from doing this type of testing, people that have heart conditions. We actually test for various allergens, which include the airborne allergens, the trees, the grass, the weeds, and stuff like that. But we also test for the food-related allergies, as well as for chemical allergens. For those people that get these rashes and itches that seem to be reoccurrent, we can test for chemical allergies. When we've allergy tested someone for the airborne allergens, again, the trees, the grass, the weeds, the moles, we then can provide them with a serum, which in effect is um, exactly what they're allergic to. And this is called immunotherapy. What we do is we, we make this serum for that particular individual, it's diluted down, and then they're injected with it on a regular basis. And the idea behind this is that we expose your body to these specific allergens and you do your own immune system develop the defense. When it comes to food allergies or chemical allergies, those are strictly avoidance. We identify it and we just have you avoid them. Hometown Health's Michelle Wargo has been undergoing an extensive series of allergy tests at the Allergy, Sinus, and Asthma Center in her effort to determine what's triggering her specific allergic reactions. We'll have more of her story and experience in next month's episode. You'll find contact information for the Allergy, Sinus, and Asthma Family Health Center in Lady Lake when you click the Airborne Allergens Story Link at yourhometownhealth.com.